What's good everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another video. Just wanted to upload a small little segment for you guys right now due to me uh, trying to record some other fit some other footage that didn't really go too well. Um, I've already lined up my beard and things like that but I'm actually going to show you guys how to use a straight razor specifically in today's video. This is not nothing new, nothing I've not you know done before or did a tutorial about before but today I'm just going to show you guys with just this product and this alone. I already lined up my beard using you know the trimmers and things like that if you guys want to know what trimmers i use if you're new go ahead and hit the channel because i use them quite often um today i'm going to just show you guys the benefits and why i feel that the straight edge razor or if you guys want to call it a shavette um, since the blade is actually removable while i feel like this is the best tool in my uh, barber kit so what i'm going to actually do is go ahead and grab the shave secret this is actually pre-shave oil you can use it to shave your head actually that's why there's like a safety razor on the uh the bottle here but what i'm going to be using it for is just to apply it to the side of my beard so i can go ahead and get a nice smooth shave so what i want to do is go ahead and get some warm water i actually just washed my face so my face is all clean as you guys can see the lineup is already you know good pretty much but ever since i started using the uh, straight razor no shave is like complete for me until I actually hit it with the straight edge. Um, honestly, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell a difference, but if you are in the barber industry at all, you know for a fact that the straight edge is going to actually put the, the perfection on anybody's hair, uh, hairline or, you know, their beard, of course. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using today. So I already have a blade inside. Uh, the blades that I use are the uh, Persona blades. Great blades that they're cut, they're comfort coated, so they don't really, you know, damage the skin or anything like that. They're not too sharp and they're not too dull to the point where you gotta sit there and cut a thousand times before anything comes off. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use the uh, Shave Secret oil. Only need about four drops. I'm go ahead and cap this thing back on up. So a little bit more water in my hand so I can mix it in, and just go ahead and apply it to where I'm gonna be shaving that. This stuff has got a nice little smell to it. Even though I don't think it's like branded as having any type of scent. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hands off so the uh, the blade does not, you know, slip out of my hands as I try to grip it. All right, so my hands is all dry. I'm gonna zoom in on the blade. So you guys can see here, this is what the blade is looking like. Sticking out just a tad bit. And the way you wanna hold it, there's a little grip right here. I just put my thumb in that grip. Pinky on the outside. Rest of the hands right here on top, and you can actually hold it, and I just use my uh, finger right here to actually cut the hairs down. So you don't need to use your whole hand to slide up and down. You want to be very precise with it, and just tap your finger along the hair, boom, 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 get it done. So let's go ahead and do that. And the way I like to do it, um, I like to you know pretty much go straight across from the mustache, even though the hairs are a little bit lighter right here like to try to line it up, go straight across until it hits the beard, and then that's when we actually start putting the curve in it. Very minimal. Um, I can already see some hairs gathering. I barely only did a few, few little taps, and I can already see the hairs gathering on the edge of that blade. So let's go ahead and continue. You wanna make sure you stretch the skin out. After every couple swipes, you can go ahead and make sure you get a little piece of tissue paper. Go ahead and uh, wipe it off. As you guys can see right here, I only did a little, one little swipe, but that is the line of hairs that I cut off so far. Um, and to me, it's actually making a nice little difference in the results of this lineup. So let's continue. Throw a tad bit more water on here. All right, now when I actually try to get to the curve right here, sometimes I like to adjust the way I hold it instead of holding it like this because it's hard to, you know, get right in the corner. I actually like to hold it like this and, you know, just pinch my fingers. That way I can just do slight strokes and try to get closer to the camera so you guys can see. There it is. So I think that side is looking good. Let's go ahead and water up the other side. Do the same thing. And guys, it's just such a, a, a slight adjustment that's going to really put that perfection on your beard. Same thing on this side. It's kind of light right here, but kind of aim for the top of the mustache and try to go straight across. It makes the beard look a lot fuller. All right, and the way this is actually supposed to be done is you do want to shave, or for me, actually, I can't say it's the way, but it depends on the way that your hair actually grows. For me, it's best to shave 
towards the beard so I can actually see where I need to stop at. But other times it's hard to get like the angle that I really want to get. So I try to go pretty much in a form, in a way, I guess you could say it's against the grain on my beard. And I like to go this way and scrape it away. Um, especially when I get up in the corner in this area right here, it makes the line a little bit crispier for me. So again, you make sure you want to stretch the skin and you definitely want to puff the cheeks out when possible, giving yourself a harder surface to actually um, cut along. And again, as you guys can see, I changed the way I'm holding the blade. Small strokes is all you need. Busting out the comb right here. This is the Kent comb. Link is going to be in the description. I like to use the small side of the comb to actually, you know, comb the beard down. So I can actually see exactly what it's going to look like. You definitely want to make sure you keep, you know, combing your beard and stuff like that as you're, you're trimming it um, or you're cutting it and lining it up. So you can always actually see exactly how it's going to look like as the end result. So that's so why you want to keep a comb on deck. And to me, it's still looking good. Just about to touch it up in the corner here just a tad bit more. The more experience that you become with your tools, you should know how they work. Um, and if there's something slightly off with them, you should be able to, to feel that and know the difference. So one thing I do want to say is honestly, even though this did give me a really good shave, um, it is actually now time for me to change the blade. Honestly, I don't know how long I've had this blade in there, but I'm going to guess and say at least like six shaves. So there's no certain time that you actually need to change it, but when you can actually feel the difference in the way it's cutting, it's time to change it. I feel like towards the end of this, um, since I always use the very tip of it to actually get the very, you know the sharp details in my beard, it is not cutting the way it should cut, so that's time for me to take it out. Um, so even though I know it's the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how that's done. This actually has a latch at the bottom. What you wanna do is just pull this down, and now as you guys can see right here, there's a little gap where you can put your finger into to open the blade and you can separate it. So I've separated the blade and as you guys can see now, the blade is just sitting on two little notches right there. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this over the trash can and we'll go ahead and replace it. So now it's empty, no blade inside, comes apart just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and refill it. These are the same exact blades that I used to uh, shave my head with in the safety razor. All you want to do is before you take it out the pack, just fold it in half and you're going to hear it snap. Check this out. There it is. So the product snaps. I didn't cut myself or nothing like that. You can then go ahead and open up the package and you'll have two separate pieces when actually in the beginning it was just one razor. So let's go ahead and remove it. Just half of it that we need. And here it is. So this is what it looks like. This is the Persona blade right there. As you guys can see, I just snapped it in half. Set it on the little notch right there. And pretty much just close the flap. So let me actually look at it up close. Make sure I do it correctly. Close the latch up to hold the blade in place. And there you go. I've replaced the blade and it's going to give me a couple more shaves before I need to replace it again. Since I did put a sharp razor against my face, I'm going to go ahead and use some witch hazel right here. This actually is what I use to prevent myself from getting any type of razor bumps. There it is. You guys seen in my last video, I was trying to be all fancy and I just put it on a little Q-tip so I didn't waste it too much. But you can always, of course, just pour it in your hand as well. You are going to be using more product than necessary, but gets the job done. I almost forgot to show you guys the last final touch, right? Today I'm going to be using the Scotch Porter Beard Balm. Again, throw a little bit of water in my beard just to get it started, right? Go ahead and pop the Scotch Porter open. Link for this is also going to be in the description. All you need is a little scoop about this size right here. Boopity boop. Nice and thick into the palms. And go ahead and throw it on. This definitely has like the texture about lotion. If you guys didn't see the uh, review I did for the, like the entire Scotch Porter kit, definitely make sure you hit the card that pops up. I have a video on this product specifically as well. And honestly, for me, even if a product works like perfectly fine, which this one does, I have a whole bunch of products. I like to test out different products. So there's no favorite product or nothing like that that I have that I can recommend to you guys. Just test out any products that I have on the channel. And just know I have a closet full of them um, as well as other products that I haven't gotten around to doing a review on just yet. I'm honestly the type of person, if you guys didn't know already from the stuff that I showed you in previous videos, um, I'm very neat and careful with my products. 
as in I like to take care of my stuff. Um, so if I have multiple different, you know, shampoos and conditioners and oils and things like that from different companies, um, I'll review it for that day. But I'm actually going to go back to the product that I started using in the beginning until it's actually empty. So I don't have a million different, you know, products open and unused and things like that. I don't need to have 10,000 different beard oils and deer, beard balms open um, when they all work pretty much. Well, don't get that wrong. They don't all work. I have tested out some products that just ain't for me and products that I feel, you know, clump up my beard or my beard doesn't really accept the products too well. So if you guys care to see, you know, and hear about my opinion on products that I've tested out, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So again, this is what I use to prevent myself from getting razor bumps, but sometimes there's stuff that, you know, shit happens, right? So if I end up do getting a razor bump, then there's other products I have for that. I'm not going to show you guys those right now because I ain't got the razor bumps, but if you guys do have razor bumps, though, make sure you... Uh, Actually, hit the card that pops up. I might have a video for it. Actually, I know for a fact I have a video about it. And check my channel because if you guys are new, I have like, I'm a guess and say about 150 videos that have to do with lining my beard up, different products that I use, um, prevention, um, on how not to get razor bumps, different tools and stuff like that that I've used. Um, so again, I think I'm all done right here in this video. If you guys found it helpful, uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It definitely helps me out a lot. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any type of questions about, you know, something you're stuck with, let me know. And most likely what I'm going to do is actually send you a link to my channel because uh, I have a video about most things. One thing I do want you guys to understand, though, is that um, my beard journey has been about two, maybe three years now. So everything that I've gone through is all I can give you pretty much. I found a routine that works for me. Of course, I'm going to be testing out different products that you guys tell me about. Um, and I'll let you guys know if they work for me as well. But if you want to know if they work for you, all you're going to have to do is test it out. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one now. Peace.